Hey everybody, Steve Fredland here with a little musing vent about strategic planning. Uh, I do strategic planning for individual small businesses and nonprofits, and I absolutely love the process, but the words in themselves, strategic planning, have such a negative connotation. And it actually makes me quite angry because strategic planning in a lot of cases inside of corporations or other places, it's just a, a fixed framework, it's a fixed process, everything is static, it's one size fits all. And so at the end of the day, um, organizations walk through this process, it's not really value added, the discussions don't go where they really need to go, and at the end of the day you just come up with a set of things that maybe you would do otherwise, or it's a set of things that you're never going to get to, or it's a set of things that are really the wrong things. Um, and be, so, so, so people think about strategic planning and they think, this is dumb, we've done this before, we have three ring binders full of strategic plans that nobody's ever using. And I think it gets a bad rap because strategic planning done well is all about catering to your individual organization, catering to your nonprofits. It starts with a lot of questions about where are you trying to go, get clarity on your vision, your mission, your purpose, your core values. And in the context of those things, you start asking the questions, what sort of strategic planning do we need to do, which is just a fancy way of saying what sort of strategies, what things do we focus on, how do we set ourselves up for success both now and in the future and in the very very long-term future how do we set ourselves up to do the things now that'll get us where we want to go so it's actually a very exciting a very life-giving process when done right but so many times I see it done very very poorly one size fits all uh, and so when people ask me hey can you do strategic planning for our organization I have to ask the question well what do you mean by that do you just want a process to go through because your board is demanding it or do you actually want a life-giving, engaged, ownership-driven, uh, vision-centric uh, planning process that's going to get you advanced down the field closer to where you're trying to go ultimately? And if so, we need to sit down and kind of work through that process together because depending on your organization's culture, depending on your history, depending on uh, the different skill sets, depending on your vision, uh, it's going to change how the strategic planning process is done. At the end of the day, what you want is you want all of the stakeholders having a voice. You want ownership, you want engagement, and you want to do things that are both reasonable as well as effective and that people are going to celebrate and get excited about if those things happen. So I just want to encourage you, uh, if you're thinking about strategic planning and it seems daunting or it seems dumb or it seems like a no value added, I want to challenge you to rethink what strategic planning could be and how it could improve the life of your life or your organization. Steve Fredland here. If I can help, please let me know. But hopefully that encourages you to not just throw away strategic planning, but embrace it. <music>